thanks for joining me today in enjoying some heart music that comes mostly from Ireland. There's so much music that I love. Um, it would take me a couple of hours to get through it, but I'll play some of my favorites for you. The first thing I'm going to play for you is a song by Turlo O'Carolyn, and it's a Planksty. It's dedicated to Fanny Power. So that's the name of it, Planksty Fanny Power. Many Irish songs have two names. Uh, when I learned this slip jig, I understood that it was called The Choice Wife, which is why I had one of my friends play it at my wedding. I thought I was one. I later found out that it's called O'Farrell's Welcome to Limerick. Either way, I really like it, and it's a slip jig, which means that this would have been a jig that was danced by girls and women. Thank you. Thank you. 
Now I'd like to play a couple of songs for you on uh, my other harp, which is both harps were made by Dave Thormelin in Corbellis. This one is made with acacia and it's also strung with gut strings. And so the sound is a little different and uh, it's kind of just different tones that each harp produces. The next song that I want to do for you is called Blind Mary. And it's another Planksy. It's another song dedicated to a specific person that was written by Turlo Carolyn more than 350 years ago. Now I'll be doing a very famous song um, called The Parting Glass.
Now I'd like to play a hornpipe for you. It's called Fisherman's Favorite, and it's my favorite too because it's the one I always play when I want to play a hornpipe. So most people know that the Irish had had a lot of sadness, tragedy in their history for hundreds of years, uh, uh, being occupied. And um, as they were fighting to repel the British, there was a battle that turned out to be the de decisive one called the Battle of Aughram. And the, the song that I'll play next is originally a pipe tune called After the Battle of Aughram.
after that final battle, uh, when Ireland had, had lost for real and good, the soldiers who had been captured were um, loaded onto a ship and sent into exile. <clears throat> and the next song, uh, the English title for it is the Limerick Lament, commemorates that occasion where the families, the mothers, sisters, children of these exiles who were being set off on the ship watched it sail away. And the story goes that uh, as the ship went farther and farther out to sea, the women waded into the water trying to follow the ship until it, it vanished out of sight. The Limerick Lament. The next song I'd like to do for you, I've borrowed from Scotland. 
Um, it's called the Athol Highlanders, and it's a it's technically a jig, but it feels like a march. And I love the sense that it can bring of a return to hopefulness. Okay, this next song is uh, Carnifarishin. I It's actually from the Isle of Man, where Manx cats come from, and otherwise known as the Fairy's Reel. Now I'll play a jig. It's known as Blarney Pilgrim. And a lot of people think of Blarney as like people who um, make up stories. 
and uh, it's kind of not considered very flattering. But um, the Blarney Stone, if you traveled to Blarney and kissed the Blarney Stone, you were actually uh, supposed to gain the gift of poetry and the gift of beautiful speech. So uh, the next song called Blarney Pilgrim is expressing the joy of someone who's going to Blarney, I guess. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen and share this music with me. I hope that the next time we are able to do it in person. And uh, I hope that day comes soon. In the meantime, I'd like to close with one last O'Carolan tune. Uh, this one is called Carolyn's Draft. Um, now, Carolyn was alive about the same time as other Baroque composers, and he did, he was aware of what was going on on mainland Europe. And if this sounds a little bit like maybe what Bach would have written if he was in Ireland, you're not too far off base. <laughs>